Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will give you the step by step uh, how I create this uh, energy chain for the automation system. And this you can animate with the movement in the correct order. So, this linear guide set uh, I downloaded from Igus which is you can also replica the 3d model okay so after that make sure that you already have the uh, join constraint in the particular movement and also i added the this uh, uh that one is a bracket i created myself so you just put it there with the constraint and also put the one more thing one more there so the key is you have to perfectly line up together with those two part and also at the vertical and as well as the horizontal direction you have per perfectly uh, position aligned together okay and then after that you were going to create the path which is you can select from the template appropriately which I'm here using the millimeter standard metric and then I will create a new component this is for the path which I'm going to use and then this path it will be attached to the same uh, plane in the one of the particular bracket over there so let me find out which one is the no, I think this one yeah okay yeah here so you just plug it into the same plane and then create a sketch in those particular plane okay over there yeah put it the sketch over here yeah and then this sketch it will be adaptive to the particular bracket so when you project here when you project the uh, let me find it yeah okay project as you can see in the browser in the left is uh, using there's a uh, adaptive uh, icon over there okay it's mean that this sketch is related or adaptive to the uh, particular bracket over there and then you start to create the path uh, for the sketch it's just basically the line and then the the arc over there and then you line up with the particular projected sketch over here yeah you line up vertically and as well as you put the dimension over here so this point is for the starting point I use 30.5 where is come the 30.5 over 2 so it's come from here this is the particular size of the energy chain so the pitch over here is 30.5 so that 30.5 I create this for the pitch of the, each individual component each individual part of the path over there okay okay so you need to create the dimension but this dimension should be the driven dimension because they will the sketch here will move so they have to create the in order to drive the adaptivity you need to create the driven dimension over there and also the lastly for here i need to create a parameter so this is the number it means the number of the particular part component so let's say 20 and then add also the length that one is the length is the path length so the path length is basically the number and then minus one because in the pattern you need not to count the original part and then multiply by the pitch of the each individual of the energy chain okay 
so over there so you just continue with the dimension here so this dimension is the length okay i put it length and minus that dimension over there and also the minus of the radius over there but multiply by v p because it's just half of the circle okay so this sketch is already finished for the path and i put the work point over there at the end of the part and then i create a pattern using follow pattern and then the number of instances is the number which is my parameter and then the spacing will be 30.5 okay and then you just click the direction to is follow the direction so when you follow the direction they will orient according to the arc okay and then just finish gets and then you place the component over here place it and then orient it according to rotate it to get easily it will be assembled okay put it over there and also create a join i'm using the insert join for here and then for that one over there okay and also do forget to create the angle constraint from here we did that one okay 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 and then you just create a pattern to the component which is the component is over that one and then the feature the feature you need to click the modeling okay and then you pick the rectangular pattern they will automatically create okay yeah i think it's good and then after that you just try out the adaptivity of this particular assembly okay i will this is my cylindrical drive constraint so i will drive this using the drive adaptability you have to check mark there and then let me see okay so it's working perfectly okay yeah you let's see what's your comment below you can write down your comment and then please like my video if you like it and then subscribe if you need uh, more video which is will come up soon okay thank you very much and then bye bye